What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Python programming video. We're looking at the Python challenge. We're finally on challenge number 11. Uh, and right in front of us is uh, this picture. I really can't tell what it is. It's I, It looks like a scene of some people walking. Uh, I can't tell whether this is like a rooster head or he's on fire or... I, I just don't know. <laughs> uh, there aren't any hints on the page. There's nothing here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of view the page source, try to investigate. The title of this page is Odd Even. Uh, <laughs> don't know what that means. The image is cave.jpg. There's, there's a, a section for the font here, but there is no text. There is no hint given to us. So um, we just have this image to work with and odd even, whatever that means. I think cave might be a hint to like a Python module we need to use or something, so Python cave, I'll look up. Uh, but <laughs> the Marburg virus disease, I don't get any module documentation. Oh, hey! <laughs> the Colossal Cave Game in Python, that's pretty cool. So, uh... Dragon Realm? Wow. Alright. This is not what I was expecting. There is no... I don't think there's a cave module in Python, nor would it... If there were one, I don't think it would help. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, let's look at the source one more time. Odd even. It looks like, in the picture... I can see, like, it's full of dots. I mean, that's pretty obvious, right? Here, I'll zoom in. But I don't know, like, how it, it's done. I think... Here. I'll zoom back out. And, uh... I'm gonna download it. Save image as... Put it on my desktop is cave.jpg. And I'll fire it up. Whoa! Is it flickering for you? A little optical illusion. Okay! So, sorry, zoomed in a little bit too much there. Ooh, yeah, that's a little freaky. There's a lot of black pixels. I think that's what it is. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try opening in paint. Right click, open with... Paint. Alright. So... If we zoom in here... All these black. These black boxes and pixels. It's like all over the picture. It is all over the picture. It's absolutely everywhere. I wonder if there are any that like aren't black. Yeah, because these look like... If I zoom in here... I can't tell if this is my just my eyesight. No, yeah, these get... These get red. I'm gonna use my eyedropper tool. These guys look like these aren't pure black. Can I edit this? Can I edit this color? Yeah, look, 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 look. There's 60 in red. It's not pure black. Uh Okay. So it does get something. It looks like there are more down here. These are not straight black, not pure black. Which pixels are these? So these are... Huh. I'm gonna set my brush size to be smaller so I can... If I go up to the top left, and I start at zero, zero, look, look, zero, zero is black. One, one is black. Two, two is black. 3 is black. 2 zero is black. But there is no combination where it's an even and an odd number for x and y coordinates, or an odd and an even number for x and y coordinates that is black. It's all even and odd pairs for x and y. 
So that's what it must mean when it says odd even being our hint. I wonder if these pixels... We can't... Are those going to get us text? Is that going to get us text? Okay, so either way, it looks like we're going to have to use a Python image module to loop through this. Let's fire up a uh, text editor. I'm going to save this in my uh, desktop, 11.py. Import image. Image equals image.open. Cave.jpg is what we're working with. Um, I'm going to say width and height actually equal the image dot size because we're probably going to need those. Do I have my image working? Yes. Okay. So, odd and even are what we're going to need. We're going to need to look through. So, for x in range, 0, size, uh, no, width, right, and for y in range, we don't even need the zero here, height, we'll do as well, uh, print character form of image dot get pixel x and y. This gets every single pixel, but we want the odd and even ones. So, odd is just going to be 1 plus. Like, plus 1 on the variable that we're looking at, x or y, but it needs to increment by 2 then. So we do need these zeros. 0 with 2 and 0 height 2. Do you remember like in the last, in one of the uh, earlier challenges, in one of the other videos, we were looking at x, y, and uh, x like plus 1? Because that would get the next one corresponding. And this is going to do the same for the even. Even and then this one will be odd. Now when I run this, okay, it needs them in uh, integers, not tuples. Get pixel takes two arguments, three given. I'm confused. What is the problem? Maybe my parentheses don't match up. I think it needs a tuple for arguments, yeah. So, find the C's, get pixel, character, and then tuple, get pixel, and parentheses. Run this. An integer is required. Oh, right, right, right. This gets, uh, the chr function is what needs an integer. So we need to, like, take out one of the values from this. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's doesn't look like what we want. <laughs> yeah, I see space character. Hey, 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 hey! I do see values, but none of those make sense. What if, okay, I remember in the last tutorial, or the last challenge in the last video, we didn't use the text, we ended up using the pixels. I wonder if there's something like, and I know some of the pixels are in red, right? When we got to some of them, yeah. What if the message is stored in the pixels, not in the, like, the text that you would get out of the pixel colors? Let's... Okay, so let's create a new image. New image equals all right, 
let's say size equals width and height, and then our new image can equal image dot new RGB type with the same size as the other one. So what we can do is we can once we loop through, let's say even can equal this, and odd can equal this. even now this get pixel is going to return color data for us right so even color and odd color here the coordinates are going to be x and y and x plus y and we'll say that new image can e we can actually put a pixel on the new image and let's say x and y and that's going to be the even color and then we'll add a new one for x plus y and y plus y and then the odd color um, okay I have too many parentheses at this point and we'll remove our indexing because now we're just gonna get the actual color data so we don't need to index anything we're gonna use it to put color data on the new image I think so when you run this okay that works fine for us and new image dot save, save on our desktop because it's where I am, let's say image.png, save and run, and image.png, A. okay, get our number 11, and nothing else, I don't see, I mean I see some of the red, but that's all. What if we separate? Damn it! I added even first and then odd. Well, that wouldn't have any difference, would it? That wouldn't make any difference. Yes, the same output. So I remember in the uh, here, this is me looking up the <laughs> this is me looking up <laughs> the documentation for the get pixel function. The title is odd even, not even odd. So it's not like, but I mean, when we add it to the image, there is no order. It's still gonna put it where it needs to go odd even or even odd there is no there is no question of order there what if we separated it into two images so let's say even image and then odd image so even image put pixel and odd image put pixel even even and we'll do one for odd now if we run this boop doop image oh that's the same image we were looking at before even still pretty black Odd. Figure out. There's nothing there. Damn it. All right, that doesn't work for us. I'm gonna go back to our one image thing. New image. I'm just control Zing over and over and over again. Now, if I run this, okay, back to our regular image. Let's look at this a little more. Let's open this up. Open this up in Paint. Open with. Paint. Zoom in. <laughs> I see some of the like the green pixels here. Uh, it's all black. It's like all black. Oh, okay. There's color here. What is this? Is that an E? Um, those are letters, I think. I can barely see letters in there. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> E-V-I-L. Evil. What the heck? That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. It's gotta be evil. That's creepy. 
<laughs> just like etched in, like, in red and bl and green. <laughs> That's super creepy. That's gotta be it. Let's go. Let's check it out. All right, URL. Evil. Oh, that's it! Sweet! Holy crap! That's pretty freaky! And like, in the original picture... What the heck? <laughs> alright, alright. Evil it is, then. I'll take that. I'll buy it. I don't mind. Oh, it is right there! Did I just miss it the first time? I zoomed in. Sorry, guys. Super heavy zoom in. Yeah, there it is. I feel like I just missed it. It's so faint, kind of. Maybe I'm just blind. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for putting up with me on this one. I had to kind of poke around for a little bit, but that's super cool. Did not expect evil to be the key, the flag. All right. Well, thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this video, this challenge, this little riddle. If you are enjoying the series, maybe like the video. Maybe leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Constructive criticism. I love that stuff. And if you're feeling generous, maybe subscribe. You know I'd love that. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial.